not interested in pensions. But pensions are part of a whole benefit program. The better the benefit package is here, the better this place is to work. It really helps us in terms of less turnover, helps our morale, even helps the company in terms of uh, higher profits and productivity. Look, I'm only here for a couple of years while I work on my photography. Once I get that rolling, I am out of here. We also have to protect our health insurance. We've been hearing from management that they're going to want us to pay for part of our family insurance coverage. It's really going to hurt a lot of the single parents here. That doesn't affect me. I don't even have children. Well, maybe even if it doesn't affect you personally, there's a lot of other people that it will affect. Maybe you should think of someone else for a change. I'll tell you something. Some of us are getting really sick and tired of carrying you free riders anyway. Look, I think union dues are way too high. I don't even care what they're used for. I don't want any hassles with the company. I just want to do my photography, and that's it. I'm not interested. Unions have accomplished a whole lot for workers here in this country. Our whole standard of living has changed because of unions. The benefits you have, the very benefits you have, they didn't just come out of thin air. You know, a lot of people fought for those benefits. I'll tell you something. Maybe you didn't read about it in high school in your school books, but they're very important. So, boy, the schools are half the problem. They don't even teach about unions in the schools. Look, just because you've been here for a while, don't think you can come in here and tell me what I can and I can't do. I can speak for myself, and I'm not interested. I'll tell you something. You may need us at some point, and we may not even be around for you. I'll take that chance. So I take it you're not joining? Right. Fine. The location, setting, and purpose of this visit is the same as the previous meeting. However, the organizer takes a little different approach. Hi, Maria. Mind if I join you? Hi, Susan. Not at all. What's new? Great. Well, actually, I'm helping out the union this week. Really? Yeah, we're talking with a lot of the employees around here about contract negotiations that are coming up. Hmm. We've heard that management's planning to give us a pretty rough time, so we want to make sure we have our issues together before we ever go to the negotiating table. I'm not too interested in the unions. Why's that? Uh, to tell you the truth, I really don't know much about them. Um, I don't plan on being here that long. I'm looking to get my big break in photography, and then I'm out of here. I didn't know you were a photographer. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you something that I've been hearing a lot, is that people have been making a priority out of getting more paid vacation and more paid holidays. Sounds like that might be a particular interest to you. I could use more time off. Yeah. It, when I first got here, we had five paid holidays, and one week's vacation after two years, if you wow. can believe it. Management's not just going to offer us more vacation and holidays. We really have to make it a priority and then stick together. Well, I hope you get it. You mean you hope we get it? The union's all of us. And you know, you could help. How could I help? Well, a lot of us are taking around a petition to our different units and asking people to sign, saying that more paid vacation and holidays is a priority for us. Okay. Well, I'll get the people in my unit to sign it. Great. You know, there's something else you could do. What's that? It could, you could also join the union. Management knows how many members we have. The more members we have, the more seriously they take us. And there are going to be a lot of issues at the negotiating table this month. I'll tell you something. We would really like to have 100% membership before we go into negotiations. How about it? Can I sign you up? Like I said before, I know nothing about it. Actually, to tell you the truth, you're the first person that's even asked me to ever join the union. I don't even know how much it costs. Well, listen, I actually have a brochure here that talks about our local, you know, just gives some information about the local and also about the due structure here. And on the back, we also list a lot of the types of activities that our local do support. Hmm. Education, bargaining, newsletters. I never knew the union was so much involved. There's a lot involved in the union. So what about it? How about signing a card? What do I do? Well, actually, there's a card right in here. All you do is sign your name and address and all that, and then sign the card, and you're a member of the local. There's a pen. Sounds easy enough. I'll give it a try. Great. You know, actually, we also have a monthly newsletter, and we sure could use a good photographer to help us out. Next Saturday night, we're having a union bolathon for muscular dystrophy. I was wondering if, number one, you'd like to come, and also if you'd be willing to um, take pictures at it. Tell you what, I'm busy next Saturday, but any other time I'd do it for you. Oh, that's good to know. So I'll tell you, it's more than just signing a card. We'd really like you to be involved in our union. Hey, welcome to the union. Thank you.
The meeting you are about to see takes place in a manufacturing plant in the Northwest. The target of the visit is respected by most of the workers in the facility. The union leadership feels he would be a big help in their push for job upgrades and training programs. Hey, Walter. How you doing? Hey, Mike. I can't complain. What's up? Oh, it's good to see you. Listen, I'd like to bring you up to date with some of the activities of the union. Uh, thanks, but I'm not really interested. I'm only paying dues around here because I have to. I haven't thought a whole lot about the union. Have you had experiences with unions before? Oh, no, not really, but uh, it seems to me the only purpose of the union around here is to protect people who aren't doing their jobs. Let me tell you how I see the union. It's you, it's me, it's the other people that work with us. Sure, we represent people with disciplinary problems, but they deserve a hearing, don't they? Yeah, sure. And there's other issues that we're involved in. For instance, a number of people have said they would like to see some training programs to qualify for better positions. The union's trying to develop a fair program to do that. And that's something. Training is something we need around here, especially if we're going to keep the good people doing the jobs. That's right. That's what our union's all about. We find the problems, we bring them to the attention of the company. Management has never proposed any improvements for us in terms of vacation or health plans or any other working conditions. And they won't propose the training program unless we prod them into it. It's a good point. I guess the union does do some good things sometimes. Wish you luck with this training thing. Thanks, Walter. But listen, why don't you come to the meeting? You always have good ideas. We can talk it through and help formulate a proposal for the company. Tell you what, Mike, I'll think about it. Okay, great. I'll let you know when the meeting is set. All right. Take, Take it easy, Mike. All right, you too. The next meeting occurs in the office of the Virginia State Department of Labor. The visit is part of a membership recruitment drive in support of the union's effort to improve working conditions of the professional staff, economists, lawyers, researchers. Hey, Greg, you still here? Yeah, I'm so sick of this place. Oh, look, I got your analysis of the state employment trends. It was really helpful. I'm glad you could use it. It's hard to tell how half the reports around here are used. Oh, look, I've been so bogged down with work lately. It was a lifesaver for me. In fact, it saved me a week's worth of work. Well, thanks. So how are you doing lately? You look kind of stressed out. It shows, huh? I am so beat. It's just crazy, and they keep piling it on. Sometimes I wish I just didn't care. If you do well, they just keep giving you more and more. Yeah, I thought the new computer system would help out, but it looks like they are piling it on. It's so crazy, and heaven forbid they give you any recognition whatsoever. Yeah, they're weak on recognition. I'm not staying around. I've had enough. Yeah, where are you going? Well, I'm going to school, and I hope I, you know, out of that I get some kind of job with regular hours, some, some recognition. Yeah, I can understand. But getting back to your stressed outlook. What do you mean? Well, a lot of us around here have been complaining about headaches and backaches and eye strain. Really? Not just me? No, not really. In fact, we've become very concerned about it, and we asked the National Union to send us some information on video display terminals and a survey that they did about it. What, what kind of information? Well, let me show you. This is the report they did, and here's a checklist of things that they told us to look for. Adjustable tables and chairs, proper positioning of terminals and display screens, use of wrists and armrests. Hmm. Yeah. And also, down here, the report tells us about levels of noise, temperature and humidity, and also lighting, glare, and reflections, those kinds of things. I never knew those things had to do with working with terminals all day. Well, yeah. In fact, we're doing a survey, and I'd like you to fill it out for us. W what's in it? Well, what we're trying to document is the kind of equipment we use in the working conditions and whether or not they have an effect on our eye strain and back problems. Sounds good, but can a union really respond to professional issues? I mean, can, can a union make any difference in these at all? Oh, sure. In addition to your salary and benefits, if this survey shows that we need more equipment or better lighting, we can negotiate for that. Also, we're negotiating flex time to help out parents and, who are working and also people who are going to school, like yourself. Um, don't forget, we negotiated the tuition re reimbursement that you're using to go to school. So I think, really, Greg, if the union is strong, then we can really talk about these issues. Yeah, but does management really listen to unions regarding professional issues? Oh, sure. That's why we have labor management meetings. I mean, they know deep down inside what we need for our work. If they don't know, we can convince them with surveys like this one. I guess, as I said before, I never knew the union got involved in issues in this way before. You know, 
you should really consider joining. You'd be a great addition. I might give it a try. Okay, let me show you something. Why don't you sign this card, and here's some information about the local. Okay? And don't forget about the survey. In fact, Greg, come on. I'll wait for you. Let's get out of here. Sounds good. Non-member Bill McDonald is notorious for his anti-union attitudes, which he rarely keeps to himself. The purpose of the visit is to tone down some of Bill's anti-union rhetoric and get him to play a small but supportive role in the upcoming negotiations. Bill, can I have a second of your time? A second? Uh, a few minutes. I want to talk to you about the upcoming contract negotiations and uh, our local's effort to uh, recruit some new members. Our efforts? You mean your efforts? Well, part of our local's preparations for negotiations is to seek the advice and the support of all employees here at the plant so we can negotiate a fair and equitable contract. Come on, get off it. I've been around here a long time. Do me a favor and get rid of that fair and equitable crap. You want something fair? What was fair about three Monday nights in a row when I couldn't even watch Monday night football? At least anything that looked like football. Are you a fan, Bill? Uh, look, I'm not talking football. I'm talking fair and equitable. The only way a union can get what it wants, this fair and equitable business, is to go on strike. So some idiot union official gets a, a thought in his head about what's fair and calls a strike, and the rest of us suffer. So don't peddle that union stuff with me. Well, let me ask you something here. Some poor slob is walking a picket line while uh, union fat cats are stealing his dues. I bet you that the union officers are getting paid their salary while the members are out on strike. And if they're getting paid, what do they care? Have you ever been on strike? Have I ever been on strike? You mean walk a pick picket line and carry one of those silly signs? Right. Have you ever worked at a plant where the workers voted to strike? Well, about 15 years ago, I uh, worked in a plant that almost went out on strike. Well, what happened? Well, we turned it down. W we? Well, the workers went to a meeting and they voted against going out on strike. Anybody in their right mind could have, have felt that uh, it was a stupid strike. Were you at that meeting? Oh, yeah, I had to be. It was a union shop and I had to be long. Well, you didn't have to go to the meeting. Well, I didn't have to go, but if me and my buddies hadn't been there, that bunch of radicals would have had us all out on the street. Do you remember the vote? Well, it was 15 years ago, and, and uh, I remember it was very close because uh, they, they counted the ballots twice, in fact. My wife was uh, pregnant at the time, and I remember that if we'd had a strike, we would have just gone under. So you're saying going to that meeting didn't make a difference? Oh, uh, damn right it did, yeah. Okay, well, look, I'm not familiar with that local's procedures on a strike vote, but it sounds very similar to our own. The point is, it's not the union officers, good or dumb, who make the decision to settle or strike. It's the union members that make that decision. Are you, are you really sitting here telling me that you expect me to join the union, pay dues every month, so that once every three years I can go to a union meeting and cast my vote against the strike? That's, that's a pretty high admission charge. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying, though, is that you just told me that your participation in that particular situation did make a difference. That's what we're asking you to do. Join the local, help us negotiate a good contract. Well, I'll, I'll give it some thought, but I still got a lot of reservations about the union. I understand. Here, in the meantime, let me give you this leaflet. It explains some of the local's accomplishments at the bargaining table. And what you'll notice is that in 25 years, we've only been on strike once. And it was for the pension plan. And that's a benefit that'll be with us years to come. Take a look. I'll be back in a week, and I'll answer your questions. Okay? Yeah, okay, fine. All right, thank you. Over the past year in this large insurance company, membership has started to fall because, as the secretaries see it, pay and benefits aren't bad. The union has decided to re-recruit several of their key individuals. Hi, Wilma. How was your weekend? Short, very short. Why so short? I spent most of Saturday getting the material ready for the director's meeting. As usual, everything's done at the last moment. Bill's great to work with, but I wish he could organize. Is it getting to you? Not really. I enjoy being kept busy. It's exciting to see this department expand and take up new projects. 
And Bill has really turned this place around the past couple years. Have you any idea how much the work has increased? Well, all I know is it used to take a half a day to get the work done. Now the people are working harder, and for some reason they're much happier. There's not much backstabbing and petty stuff. Well, you know, I think that's right. But there's been a lot of change. We have those new work procedures, and then they brought in the computer, and we've got a lot of new faces. As a matter of fact, that's really what I wanted to talk to you about. A few of us in the union are getting together for lunch sometime next week to discuss the problem and see what we could do to make the change go more smoothly. You know, this has been a good place to work, and we want to keep it that way. I don't know whether I want to get into union stuff. Sure, it serves a purpose. But Marge, some of your members give me a headache. Headache? Yeah, really. For example, for a year we have been trying to get the secretaries to switch to the new word processing system. Half have gotten the system. The rest are plunking away on the moon star, and then you have some using the old typewriter. How are you supposed to get any work done in this situation? Well, that's a perfect example of a problem we should be trying to solve. There's no problem. Either they learn it or get out. Well, you know as well as I do that they're not going to leave. And now you're telling me that 50% of the secretaries don't know the new system? That's exactly why we want to get you involved in these discussions. You know, when they brought in the system, they didn't explain it to everybody. Not everybody understands what it's supposed to accomplish and how it's going to work. You're one of the people who really does understand it almost better than anybody else. I can't see spending two hours of my time defending the computer system at a union meeting. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not asking that. We want to sit down at lunch and discuss this problem. Your input would help us get on the right track. It would only take about a half an hour of your time. How about uh, Tuesday? Tuesday? Tuesday of a meeting. How about Wednesday? Wednesday? Oh, well, that's okay. That would be great. I know you'll be a big help. As I said, we want to keep this a nice place to work. Well, I'll see you Wednesday then. Okay, Marsh. Oh, by the way, do you know I'm not a member anymore? Oh, yeah, I know that. That's okay. I'll bring you a card on Wednesday, and I'll come by and pick you up for lunch. Okay. <laughs>